a study done by a, a network of accountants says that around 800,000 to a million firms are perilously close to closing down. Where is the cash? 640, Frank Van Leuven is senior economist at the New Economics Foundation, specialising in banking. It is, in a way, easy for journalists to sit in their studios and shout and scream, where is the money to help those businesses? The practicalities, how complex is this in your view? Good morning. Uh, good morning, thanks for having me, Nick. No problems. Um, to, to be honest, like, I, I'm not so sure whether it is, it, it's as complex as it's coming out to be. It's more about the terms and conditions with which the government is, is, is approaching this entire scheme. Um, and, and the first, what, the first thing to, to say uh, about this is that what the government has asked is that um, for banks to lend on normal, normal commercial terms without having to make use of the scheme, they should do so. And that basically banks are required to lend to firms on normal, normal circumstances if they can and only use the actual um, scheme if necessary. Now, the problem with that is that actually on normal terms, banks ask for a lot. And the truth is banks don't actually in this country really like lending um, to, to businesses generally. And I think that's a, that's a huge kind of problem with this entire scheme is that this assumption that banks like lending to businesses. Since the 1980s, um, bank lending to businesses has basically dropped from a total of 30% of normal bank operations. Banks used to lend about 30% of their loans to businesses, that's dropped to about 8% um, now. And even a smaller proportion of bank lending goes to SMEs. About 2% of all SME lending um, is, is from banks. And, and just to point out, SMEs basically make up about 60% um, of, all, of, of all private sector jobs right. and 50% of all um, private sector um, GDP or, or income. So Banks really don't actually like lending um, to SMEs or to businesses. Shouldn't the Chancellor and have been aware of that prior to this, Frank? I think it, well, that's that's a, that's probably a bigger issue that underlying our, our current money and, and banking system was is that there's this kind of underlying assumption that banks like lending to businesses and that they form the, the backbone of the economy, and, and so so banks banks prefer doing this, um, and and. It's absolutely absurd then to see that banks are charging between um, seven percent or even you know thirty percent interest rates to some SMEs and businesses that are looking for um, loans right now in the in the current environment. Um, and I should say that even before <laughs> even before COVID struck, an interest rate of seven to thirty percent would be really really difficult for an SME, let alone. Now, um, so there, there's a huge issue right now between whether banks should be basically asked to lend on commercial terms or whether basically banks sh should be lending and, and just saying, look, if you need a bailout package, we're here to offer it to you. So, so let me ask you this. I'm privileged to say a lot of people who have started up or who are running their small business, small SMEs, listen to this show, and I'm privileged to have that. What would your advice to them who are finding it tough at this time be? Um, yes, that, that's a really that's definitely a, a tough question to ask. Um, but from my understanding is that there are banks now that have have come to reach the conclusion that they will be lending um, without asking for personal guarantees. But which one? Um, is, I mean, I heard RBS and AtWest are being better than most on the high street. Does that accord with what you're hearing? Yes, but I've, I've also heard that NatWest, for example, has said that um, not all customers will be eligible right. um, for an SME uh, for an SME loan, and and that has to do with the fact that um, 2019 was actually a really difficult difficult year um, for for the economy generally, and so when, if banks are looking back at on previous um, statements and and basically their loans on on previous statements, they might run into a bit of difficulty in in finding a reason to lend to SMEs because last year was was quite a bit was a difficult year for the UK economy and, and let alone for SMEs.